Hi guys, it's Beamer Zane with another short video. This time I'm working on my E85 BMW. This is the Z4 2.5 liter. And as you can see, I have the airbox removed. And what I'm doing today is I am replacing the oil pressure sensor, which is in this box here. So I was scanning my car for errors and I got this error, which is 2A3F oil pressure switch signal unfeasible. So I looked into this error and I've realized that this could be due to the pressure switch uh, being stuck in the pressure on position, which, mean, which means it is reading pressure when the engine is not working, which is incorrect, and that's why it says unfeasible. So the best solution is to just replace the sensor. As you can see, I already removed the airbox, which is really simple to remove. You just have to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts, the mass airflow sensor here, and undo the metal clamp. And then you can access the sensor itself, which is located right over here. I hope you guys can see it. So this is M54 engine and this is where the sensor is. There is a plug that I disconnected already. So this is the plug here. You just have to press on this metal clip here and unplug it. And then I also unplugged this alternator connector here. So that gives me a bit more space. And I've also put a rag underneath because there will be some oil when I remove the sensor. And you will be needing 24 millimeter uh, spanner or a socket. I don't have it, so I'm using this adjustable spanner and you just go over here and undo the sensor. So I've already loosened the sensor up so I can unscrew it. There will be some oil coming out. So this is the old sensor this is still the original. Uh, there's a diaphragm here and a switch. And when you apply pressure here, that diaphragm presses on the switch and that connects to the signal wire here. So if that diaphragm is stuck, uh, it can read pressure when there's no pressure applied. So this is our error here. I have the new sensor here. When you are re replacing sensors on BMWs, make sure you use reputable brands. This is uh, from Hela from Germany. So this should be a uh, high quality replacement. This is the new sensor here, brand new. And we're just going to screw it in. Uh, when you are tightening this down, uh, the manual says you have to screw it or tighten it down to 27 Newton meters. Now because I don't have a socket uh, I cannot use my torque wrench here so I will just be doing it by hand. You can clean off the surface with the rag and then you just screw it in. So when you have the sensor replaced and tightened down, you just have to reinstall everything, clear the coats and you should be good to go. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you think uh, there will be more uh, useful content for you guys. 
So see you in the next one. Keep Zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.